Japan Middle Eastern identity, as I'm thinking of it, only was something that emerged, I think, after 9-11. Um, part, the, the, part of it was that suddenly Syrians, Lebanese, um, Palestinians, uh, Iranians, Iraqis, they, we all got clumped together. You know, there was more misunderstanding than ever, even though people were, were now, I would think, able to locate countries of the Middle East more than ever on, on the map. But um, this, there was a slight um, ghettoization, if you can say, of all Middle Eastern people. Um, so I became very interested in that, and, I, and my novel deals a lot with pan-Middle Eastern identity, um, but specifically related to Middle Eastern men. And I, and I know there have been a lot of literature and a lot of uh, human interest articles on Middle Eastern women, but not a lot of talk about Middle Eastern men. And, uh, you know, that seems strange to me. Uh, you know, 9-11 had a lot to do with the psyche of Middle Eastern men um, versus the psyche of Western men. So um, it became something that was endlessly fascinating to me, and it continues to be as I work on a second book. I think the Iranians and Arabs, um, contrary to some popular belief, you know, have, ne have never been very friendly, <laughs> right? Um, so it always felt, especially in talking about the sort of pan Middle Eastern identity, it always feels a little bit strange to talk for um, Arabs of the region, too. But I've become very interested in, in all those countries. Um, and, and I have felt that we've all been sort of clumped together. Um, resentment personally, I've never experienced resentment personally because also I, I, I tend to pass for many different things just visually. You know, that's always been a strange feeling. In, in New York, I pass as Greek, Italian, um, you know, Jewish. Um, in California, you know, Mexican, you know, whatever. I've, I've always been able to, and my name is so foreign, like I said, even to Iranians, that um, I, I was never put into a particular niche. So I, I had never had the experience of, exp of, of going through any sort of hostilities from any anybody. My, my father and my brother have. They look more like your typical Iranian men. You know, I, I say that with reservation, of course, but um, they had experienced some of that. And I was very, that's why I was much more interested in their story. Um, I'm also very interested with, in how um, gender and race factors into this. Um, there's quite a different perception of Middle Eastern women, for instance, as victims, um, as the oppressed, um, which I think most Middle Eastern women can't stand. Although, especially in the world of publishing, um, it's interesting how much that image has been perpetuated um, and how much money has even um, come out of that image. Mm -hmm.